My name is Nicole Reed, and I am the Social Media and Event Coordinator for Family Promise of Sussex County, a nonprofit organization whose mission is to secure housing permanency and sustainability for those in crisis, because everyone deserves a home. Before we begin, I'd like to thank you all for gathering today to listen to our story. I can assure you that it is one of hope, and it is my anticipation that when you walk away from this presentation, you will feel the way that I am blessed enough to feel each day doing the work that I do, inspired, encouraged, and full of renewed faith in humanity. Homelessness has always existed in Sussex County, though walking down the streets, you may not realize its prevalence. When describing homelessness in our rural area, I like to refer to it as sneaky. It's not obvious and in your face like in the big cities. Individuals here utilize the protection offered from the caves and swamps of the many state parks in the area to seek temporary shelter from the elements in places not meant for human habitation. Housing insecurity is not a new phenomenon in New Jersey. In fact, New Jersey has had one of the highest rates of homelessness in the nation for the past five years. During 2020, over 80% of renter households were at risk of becoming homeless, and the unsheltered homeless population rose by 7%, with even higher rates of 10% for families with children. However, due to the financial implications of COVID-19, homelessness is about to skyrocket to levels we have never before seen. According to the president of the New Jersey Tenants Association, there were over 600,000 evictions pending across New Jersey as of March of this year. And he suggests that this is only a small portion compared to the number that will be filed once the moratorium is lifted. COVID-19 has left no one unscathed. People who have never been at risk before have lost their jobs, their income, and their livelihood. These are everyday people like you and me who didn't plan on a worldwide pandemic. These are people who have never missed a bill payment, who have worked hard their entire lives, who care for and support their families. And now for the first time, they're going to need help. Our agency has seen firsthand what this pandemic has done to an already vulnerable and unstable population. In the first quarter of this year, we've already worked with nearly as many households as we did in all of 2020. Homelessness, poverty, economic insecurity, and fear have multiplied over the past year, but so has our resilience. As such, we have shifted our response and strategy accordingly by implementing programs that not only house people, but restore their hope as well. This leads me to why we're all gathered here today. We are proposing a Housing Hope program that will allow us to implement the research-based Housing First model to prioritize housing stabilization and provide financial resources for rental or mortgage payments to prevent homelessness. If an eviction cannot be prevented, short-term emergency housing will be provided through hotel or apartment placements. These resources will provide a bridge of support, reducing the impact of trauma. Once housing is achieved, staff will continue to walk alongside the client by providing ongoing case management services to address needs specific to the individual household culture. When partnered with case management services, the Housing First philosophy has been found to have better housing retention rates and is associated with fewer emergency department visits as well as better health and social outcomes. The Housing Hope Program will not only restore the dignity that a home can provide, but also faith in the idea that the scary, traumatic time does not need to be navigated alone. This principle is embedded in the longstanding belief that no matter how long darkness may shadow us, there's always a light that will follow. And that light can only shine when communities come together in the face of desperation. Thank you for considering our proposal. We hope you better understand why we're so passionate and dedicated to the work that we do.